from Bandidos, welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Rustboro City's gym leader, Rexan, and we obtained the Stone Badge. In today's episode, we're actually going to chase down the Team Magma guy who was chasing down the professor, or whatever's going on with this weird guy. Oh, you there! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. You know what? They just, they won't leave this poor guy alone, man. Now we're actually going to have to go look for this these Team Magma. Magma grunts here in Route 116, and I'm actually not even sure what type of Pokemon are in this. I guess it could be for some good training. I see a couple bug men, so let's keep it going, guys. I hope you're enjoying your days. I hope life is going well, and I hope you know uh, things are going well for you. Now, I did a little bit of training off screen. As you can see, Boomy is level 15. Zagu is now, I believe, level 11? No, no, they're level 10. Zagu's level 10, and then our Routes is also level 10 as well. So we're looking quite good right now on levels, and I'm not too worried about all the things to come. I think we, you know, should be up to par. I don't know. I think the second gym's gonna be a lot tougher. I know that our Routes, Elric, will have a type advantage. We just need to get it up to that level, you know? It's, it's, that, it's that point of the game where we just need to do a lot of training. The XP share hasn't been giving as much as I expected to. Maybe it's just because, honestly, we haven't done as many battles as I thought we would at this point. But I think as we get going, we'll start doing a lot more battles, and hopefully that'll make it so our Pokemon start gaining some serious levels. I think in X and Y, it was around the point where, you know, the gym started picking up that my Pokemon began to catch up in levels. So I think that's something that's going to happen here. Let's just go ahead and knock these Pokemon out, though. I'm almost surprised, too. Like, we're level 15, and we're still not one-shotting these Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Something real sketchy's going on. This Ninkata, all right. Well, it, it actually drained me for a lot. Let's go for the Pound. Maybe, maybe Pound will do a little more here. Oh, yeah, that did a good amount. That's what I like to see. Let it go for the scratch. I'd rather it attack us than it doesn't. So far, guys, I've really been enjoying this game. Thank you guys for all your support. I just wanted to make sure to tell you guys that once in a while, hopefully every video. It means a lot to me, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. You know, I can't wait till we really get in depth to this game. This is still just the beginning. You know, we haven't even really begun adding our team. We have, you know, I guess three team members at this point, and Zigzagoon, who's the HM slave, Oh, wow, Boomy grew to level 16. That's fantastic. Uh, and we all gained a bunch of XP. Silcoon, oh, I'm not going to switch out. I'm not going to switch out. We're doing really good right now. A fire type would come in very handy at this point. Now, I actually do have a nice little layout of what I think our team's going to look like from all the suggestions you guys have given me. I think, I, you know, I'm thinking of a, of a pretty good team. Uh, but the thing is, a lot of the Pokemon we can add are going to be later in the game. So for now, we're just going to have to, you know, train the Pokemon we have and, you know, keep on going from there. We'll eventually start adding more Pokemon. Uh, but for now, we're just going to have to, you know, train up the ones we have. All right, with that, we defeated Silcoon. And these battles are getting a little bit tougher, too. You know, uh, we're getting a lot more pokemon you know uh, uh, these trainers the bug catchers have like three pokemon each and with that guys our trico boomy is evolving about time right i mean uh, it's been a while you think it would have happened a little bit faster i do love the way the evolution looks it looks beautiful just look at that it's so much different than anything else we've seen even x and y this is just wow amazing with that guys our congratulations our boomy evolved into grovile so with that our grovile is ready to go and we're looking quite a bit oh fury cutter heck yeah heck yeah let's see what are we gonna forget for fury cutter it's a bug type move yeah fury cutter's okay how much does pound do pound does 40 quick attack does 40 all right i'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of pound then I'm, i like keeping leer you know once in a while we might need that type of move so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of pound and learn fury cutter so sweet with that guys we have a pokemon that has finally evolved you know, for real though, about time. I, it's been a long time coming. Oh, we can actually buy repels now. There we go. Those are like my favorite items. Using repels is the bomb. Uh, do I really want to go for these? I don't really know. I don't think there's going to be anything too special in those Pokeballs. And we probably have a bunch of battles. I probably should have used the repel. Would have been a little bit of a smart move, but that's okay. I wonder what level this Zigzagoon is. Watch it be higher than mine. That would kind of suck. No, no, we're good. We're still looking good. I'm just going to run from this fight, and I actually am going to use that repel we just picked up. I'm guessing the fact that the game is giving to us means that they're finally in the shop. And if they're not, they should be coming up very soon, uh, which would be real nice. You know, I'd really enjoy the fact that the repel started coming in. Kind of weird seeing the repels and the Pokeballs in the same pouch, though. Is that weird to anyone else? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. There's a skitty in this grass, too. I can tell there's something going on. And hey, what's this guy up to? 
Whoa, what's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's full of Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment. I'm worried that the goon will do something stupid and start a Pokemon into an uproar. What? What is going on here? Eh, hey, what am I to do? We were just out on rock, Pico and I, when we were attacked by an odd thug. Okay, so I guess the thug's going to be inside of here. So let's make our way inside of the Rust Earth Tunnel. I'm pretty sure we can't even get through the Rust Earth Tunnel at this point until we get the move Rock Smash. Well, we can at least help, you know, take down uh, the evil Team Magma guy who's been causing trouble. All right, guys. Well, I, I don't know what's going on here. Ah, kill that all! This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. Wait, they took a Wingle? Look, look, man, if you're going to capture a Pokemon, you can do a little bit better than that, guys. With that, we're going to take on uh, the Team Magma Grunt. He's only got one Pokemon, a Poochiena. And now that we're at Grove Isle, we should be able to do some real good damage here. I'm glad we're going to be testing it out. All right, let's see how much Grove Isle does now compared to what we used to do. I'm going to drop the Mega Drain on this. I'm going to drop the Mega Drain. I want to see. Holy crap. That did a lot. Wow. That was real good. That was really, really nice. I'm, I'm glad that... We have a Grow Vile now. I'm, uh, I'll just go for a quick attack. I think the quick attack will knock this thing out. And then we'll be on our way to hopefully keep helping out the nerdy guy. Poor little guy. He has, like, no idea what he's doing. He's just, like, getting bullied and getting his briefcase stolen. I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't even do that. This, you need to buy this dude pepper spray or something. All right, with that, we received the Devon parts. Okay, I remember this little part. We're definitely going to have to go, I think, into the Devon Inc., uh, in order to return these parts. And there's the old man. Pico, I'm glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Oh, yo, this is my boy, Mr. Briny. This is the man that takes you on the ships. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Like, just seeing all this again. If you guys have any idea what I'm talking about, Mr. Briny is the guy who actually takes you on a boat uh, towards, like, two other cities, which is just so freaking cool. Uh, seeing him in third person, I couldn't even tell that was him. Maybe it's just the fact that it's been a while since I've played Emerald, or that just it's so much different to see this here in 3D. But man, I'm really enjoying it, and it's really cool to see Mr. Briny. Back in the day, Mr. Briny was my home dog. You know, he likes to he likes to get down. He, he puts on some rockin' music in his ship, and he likes to get things going. And hey, what's up, man? Roar! That goofy goon hightailed it out of here. I can go back to digging. Okay, now we're gonna be able to enter the rest house, and that would be nice. I mean, I could use a little bit. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Wait, are they, is that they just chilling? You guys got some tea for me? You got me some cookies? What's up? You got me some pizza? What you got over here? You got something I can borrow? I see your fridge, man. Look, there ain't no food in this fridge. I don't. I can't even open this fridge. Why would they put a fridge in this game if I can't open it? Maybe I'm just a little hungry. Last thing I ate was like a little bit of beef jerky. Maybe I'm feeling a little hungry. Maybe, you know what? I am feeling a little hungry, guys. Maybe, just maybe. All right, that's Skitty. I'm not going to mess with it, though. I'm not trying to catch a Skitty. I already know the Pokemon I think we're going to add next. And it's going to be coming up in one of the routes, which we will be seeing very, very soon. But for now, we really need to make our way back to Rustboro. I'm not trying to mess around in this grass. So let's keep on rolling. Let's keep on trucking. And let's go back to that nerdy guy. I wonder, I wonder what his name is. Did we defeat this kid? Yeah, we defeated this kid. Okay, let's go to back to Rustboro City now and return the Devon goods. Yo, where you at? Where you at, dude? Oh, there he is. What's up, ner nerdy guy? Ah, how did it go? Did you get my Devon parts? You did. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. Oh, we were going to get a great ball. That could actually come in very handy because we're finally coming up to the place where we might be getting, uh, you know, stronger Pokemon. I'm just really excited to add some of our team members. And wow, this building looks great. That is, that is a beautiful sight. You know what's really cool? These buildings look so much different, but, you know, if you're an avid Pokemon fan like myself, you can definitely still tell, like, that it's the Devon Corporation. You know, they have the Dragonite outside or that statue, and it's just really nice to see. All right, we're going to go talk to the president now. Uh, why, why are we waiting here? What? Man, we, we don't need no introduction. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. All right, guys, let's go and talk to the prez. Yo, what's up, President? You gonna hook me up with, like, a private jet, or, or what's up with it, man? What are you gonna hook me up with? I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I heard just now how we have quite a bit to thank you for, so you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of a reliable trainer like you. Now I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. I'd never be so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenav Plus for a moment. Okay, so now we've been, uh, our Pokemon has been updated like eight different times now. It's got like a Pikachu, it's got a lady that looks like our mom. I don't even know. 
It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who's traveling out in the world. Use it and you'll be able to get the latest news from around the region and from your own friends any time and place. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Steven. You should find him in Duford. Okay, Steven. Sounds very familiar. I think we already know who that is. Steve-O, you know what I'm saying? Steve-O the man. You'll have to cross the sea to reach Duford, of course. I'll ask Mr. Briny, the old sailor who lives in that hut on Route 104, to help with the crossing. Go find him and she, he should agree to help you. I'm counting on you, young man. If you're ever unsure of what to do, just come and talk with me again. Okay, well, we're looking quite good. Mr. Brandy's an old and dear friend of Mr. Stone's. The two of them, along with one other friend, used to travel all the corners of the world together in their youth. With that, guys, we've given our mission, we've been given a mission, and it looks like our, our home dog, home slice, Mr. Briny, is gonna help us continue on with our journey. So with that, wait, where the fudge is the elevator, dude? This, this looks, this is some weird setup. This is harder to maneuver than the grocery store. Fun fact, they actually make the grocery store confusing so that you spend more time there and you actually buy more things. Just a known fact for you guys. Oh hey Roger, you've been catching lots of Pokemon? I'm doing pretty good on that front at least. I got so many Pokemon in Woods that I ran out of Pokeballs. Oh yeah, I passed Mr. Briny when I was in Petalburg Woods. I guess he must have been on his way to his cottage on Route 104. Roger, you just moved here so there's no way you can know, but Mr. Briny was once a highly respected seafarer. Thanks, May. I'm gonna catch you later, though. All right, guys, so with that, we have finished up uh, the weird little expedition we've had for today. Next time, we're actually gonna look for Mr. Briny and hopefully make our way to Duford? Uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna be headed, Duford. Yeah, I know, Duford City. I need to do a little bit of training off screen. Definitely gonna try and knock that out. I need to get our Pokemon a couple higher levels, especially our routes. You know, Elric really needs some training in order to be efficient in that next gym. I know you guys have been telling me that. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.